I want to understand. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6. Reading from verse 12. Let's go. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. The Bible says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter Chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. Now listen to me. In And, and when, when the Bible makes us understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, that means that in as much as you, there are human beings around you, the forces that are battling against you, they are not flesh. They are not flesh like this in human flesh. They are not physical. They are spiritual entities. So satanic authorities, demonic powers, forces that contend against our lives. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh. We do not wrestle against physical forces. We do not wrestle against natural entities. We wrestle against demonic forces, satanic authorities, powers and, 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 and principalities that work against us. Now, when you come, you move to Corinthians chapter 10 and you read verse 3. Verse 3, throw more light on it. The Bible says that for, for, we, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness, the heavenly places. Now, when you come to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, the scripture says that for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Now, though we walk in the flesh, the war we fight, the battles we engage in, they are not after the flesh. That's what the Bible says. Now, the Bible says, continues to say, verse 4, For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. The Bible says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh though we are flesh human bodies physical beings we do not war after physical beings though we are physical in 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 in, in our being we do not fight against physical beings you know the, the fights with which we fight as christians they are not physical battles it would be very stupid of you to go and take a massage or a cutlass or anything or go to somebody who you think is fighting you and start fighting them physically that is not how we fight as christians we fight spiritual battles you don't go and physically attack or address anybody that you think is fighting you you don't go and physically attack or address anybody that you think is um, is working against you yours is to pray yours is to take the thing up in prayer if someone is fighting against your marriage somebody is fighting against your rising somebody is fighting against you in one way or the other according to scripture though we walk in the flesh our fight is not in the flesh our battle is a spiritual battle. Now let's continue say, reading. It says, uh, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, meaning they are not physical, but the Bible says they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Uh, the Bible says, for the weapons with which we wage war, they are not physical. They, even though I don't use, I don't have a pistol, 
even though i don't fight with with arrows and bows and things like that there are weapons with which i fight they are spiritual weapons the weapons of prayer the weapons of the word of god when you engage in prayer and you engage in in battle you are able to overcome your enemy you don't go to physically fight any enemy that is waste of time and energy and effort you don't physically engage in battle listen to me all my battles i fight when people even start fighting me physically i engage in a spiritual warfare i also engage in prayer because when i take the my warfare into the spirit i have an advantage over the enemy they are fighting naturally they are talking about me they are trying to sabotage me they are trying to bring you down so what you do is to get into prayer and begin to pray begin to engage with the word of god begin to pray with the word of god take scripture for the bible say no weapon from against you shall prosper begin to quote it begin to declare and engage warfare engage prayer in your warfare your 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 arrow your your bullets in 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 your in spiritual warfare is the word of god your bullets when you take away from the scriptures the bible says that anybody that shall stand up against you they shall fall for your sake so if some man at your workplace is fighting against you according to isaiah them that will fight you should fall for your sake let them fall for your sake according to the book of isaiah the word of you that is a bullet you have released you quote scripture and you engage in battle when you quote scripture and you engage in battle the enemy has nothing to do than to give up when you engage the enemy in battle he gives us the because you are releasing arrows in the spirit you are releasing armory in the spirit you are listen to me when you are praying engage prayer don't never physically fight any enemy because you lose look at you what strength do you have even your little sister cry if you fight with him physically she might beat you your little sister might beat you so you don't have to engage in physical battles engage in spiritual battles engage in spiritual warfare that is the level you should engage in now now let me let me let me let me read something to you when when ezekiel encountered dry bones in the valley ezekiel god spoke to ezekiel ezekiel encountered a dry bone situation do you know what ezekiel said the, the god told ezekiel prophesy to the situation and tell the situation hear the word of the lord when ezekiel engaged in warfare and 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 and, and prophesied according to what god was saying now according to the word of god when you release the word of god in your mouth the word of god in your mouth is as powerful as the word of god in god's mouth the word of God in your mouth in prayer is as powerful as the word of God in God's mouth. The God said to Ezekiel, prophesy to the dry bones and say to the dry bones, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of Elohim. Hear the word of Yahweh. Now, the dry bones, uh, verse 9 says, say to them, prophesy to the wind, son of man, and say to the wind, that says the Lord, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live the enemy had captured these armies you know the bible says the dry bones they were an army when ezekiel prophesied the dry bones in the valley became an army that means that previously they were an army and some way somehow oh my god i feel like preaching right here somebody killed this army somebody made sure they rot somebody made sure they became bones not just a skeleton a great army of god were killed were, were, was killed and the army was left to rot to become bones some of you you had a business the business was destroyed and it was left to go down you had a good career you were fired from work and you had become like dry bones you had got a good marriage you lost the marriage you have become like dry bones but today the Lord said to Ezekiel prophesy to the four winds of the earth and tell the four winds let them come from the north from the south from the east and let them breathe upon the bones so that life will come 
come to them aduya masete i speak over your dry bones we command the four winds we engage the four winds in prayer what made the dry bones come back to life was the four winds we engage the four winds and we decree and declare let the north wind would let the south wind let the east wind let the south, let the west wind come together and enter your situation and bring life to your situation ezekiel chapter 9 chapter 37 verse 9 god said prophesy to the dry bone to the wind to the four winds and say to the four winds come all ye four winds and enter this lane that he may live again i speak to your situation it shall live again now i'm going to deal with the east wind today all these winds i'm talking about the north wind the south wind the east wind, they all have god's prophetic significance let me read a scripture for you in daniel chapter 7 verse 2 then daniel spoke and said i saw in a vision by night and behold the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea daniel talked about the four winds when Dan god showed daniel a vision in the Bible says, in the first reign of, of the king of Babylon, God showed Daniel a vision. And in the vision, Daniel saw the four winds coming from the north, south, east, and west. And the four winds were moving upon the waters. The four winds. You see, the four winds is a prophetic revelation. And these are winds you can engage in battle they are weapons of war you know let me let me let me break it down in simple terms for you to understand when you watch a movie and the hero is attacking the villain or whatever they call it now the one they are they have got ak-47 they've got pistols they've got um c4 they've got um, 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 um some bombs they have got so many weapons of war that is used in in warfare somebody can shoot you with an ak-47 someone can shoot you with a pistol someone can kill you with a c4 somebody can kill you with an intercontinental ballistic missile they are different weapons of war that are used in battle and one of the weapons of war in spiritual warfare is the four winds of god you get what i'm saying one of the weapons used in warfare is the four winds of god in, in, you say a uh, fire we pray fire is it, i mean the prophets use fire in the days of old fire is a weapon of war sometimes after you have used fire some people you try to shoot them with your ak-47 they will not die you need possibly a c4 sometimes after you have used fire engage in warfare and it is not this i mean getting the job done engage the east wind now the four winds of the earth they all have significance now the east wind is a wind of destruction it's a wind for warfare it's a wind that is used to engage to destroy because the the east wind is a dry strong wind it's a wind that can cause destruction to your enemies listen to me if somebody is tormenting your life not making you have peace if a certain man a certain woman is tormenting you destroy making you making your life um, difficult command the east wind of god i remember many years ago when i was many many years ago i was on campus someone stole i was doing my master's degree in the uk that's about um about 10 years ago, I was doing my master's degree in the UK and uh, somebody stole my money. I was living in the, uh, in the student's campus with a certain guy, an Indian guy, and he stole my money. And when the guy stole my money, I told him, please, Patel, give me my money. This guy says he does not have the money. But God had revealed to me that the money was with the guy. And I engaged in prayer. I said, if you don't give my money, it will not be good for you. I engaged in prayer. I began to pray. And I commanded the east wind. I declared, let the east wind of God blow upon any man that has taken my money. Within two days the guy fell sick the guy nearly died he was stuck in his room he couldn't come out for two days the guy fell sick why because i released the strong wind of warfare against him i released the strong wind of destruction against him the east wind is the wind that destroys when you read genesis chapter 41 verse 6 god used the east wind in the book of genesis now 
listen to me the east wind blows listen to me when i reactivated the east wind upon this man the man nearly died he came to me on the third day and told me sir this is your money i am very sorry i stole the money and i will never take anything from you again can i tell you something when you activate the east wind upon your enemies they will give up let me let me read for you genesis chapter 41 verse 6 let me give you scripture reference the bible says let me read from verse 5 and he slept and dreamed and the second time and behold seven ears of corn came up upon the stock and rank and good and behold 17 ears and blasted with the east wind sprang up after them the east wind blasted even the first things that have happened let me go down to, to verse 23 for the sake of time the east wind of God and behold and behold seven years with it and thin and blasted with the east wind and sprang up after them when the east wind blows things are destroyed when the east wind blows people die when the east wind blows things go down when the east wind blows whatever was standing in your way is completely scattered swept out it sweeps out your enemies it completely sweeps out your enemies today in the end me in your life we activate the east wind of god we activate the east wind of god we activate the east wind of god may they be swept out away in the name of jesus we activate the east wind of god by the power of god when you read ezekiel chapter 17 ezekiel or 17 ezekiel also talks about the east wind of god the ezekiel said let me tell you what ezekiel said it was the east wind of god that blew to sweep away let me let me read ezekiel chapter 17 Ezekiel 17 verse 10 I command the east wind of God to blow against any enemy standing on your way Ezekiel 17 verse 10 here behold being planted shall it prosper shall it not utterly wither when the east wind touches it he says when somebody even plants and something is about to grow and you command the east wind you know some of these things i'm teaching you don't use it for the wrong purposes listen to me because they are dangerous spiritual warfare these are dangerous secrets used by prophets these are dangerous prophetic secrets i use in my closet if i blow the east wind against you wherever you are you go down you will go down even me i don't use it anyhow because the east wind is said look at what the scripture says in 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 uh, in, 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 in in the book of ezekiel 17. ezekiel says look, look, listen to what ezekiel says ezekiel 17 verse 10. say here yeah, behold being planted shall it prosper shall it not utterly wither when the east wind touches it it doesn't matter what has been planted whether it is a house whether it is marriage whatever it is when it has been planted when the east wind blows it scatter completely the east wind scatters it scatters it destroys today i prophesy may the east wind destroy may the east wind destroy anything that is standing on your way to the top any man or woman standing on your way to the top we command the east wind to blow against them we command the east wind to blow against them we command the east wind to blow against them ezekiel chapter 19 verse 12 take another scripture ezekiel chapter 19 verse 12 look at what the word of god says but she was plucked up in fury she was cast down to the ground and the east wind dried up all her fruits he says the east wind dried up all her fruits the east wind dried up all her fruit her strong rows were broken and withered and fire consumed them when you activate the east wind it dries up your enemy it releases fire upon their head the east wind activates fire it dries up even what they are doing when they are doing witchcraft east wind will blow it away when they are planning evil against you east wind will blow it away when they are planning shame against you east wind will blow it away when they are doing evil any evil that is being planned against you today by the mandate of elohim i command the east wind to blow against your enemies i command the east wind whatever is being orchestrated in demonic wombs i release the east wind of god to blow against it in the name of jesus 
in the name of jesus if you are watching me i speak over your life wherever you are watching me from in the power fighting you in the satanic authority sitting on your blessing in the man that looks stronger than you that looks mightier than you that is bringing your way down that is suppressing your destiny hey we release the east wind of god to blow against your structures to blow against your plans to wait and sweep away whatever it is they are doing to scatter them by fire in the name of jesus we release the east wind of god 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 in the name of jesus now listen to him isaiah chapter 27 let me read and then we, 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 we begin to pray. Because if I stay on the east wind, the east wind dries up things. It scatters. It sweeps away. It is a, it is a wind that brings destruction, that brings famine, that brings uh, it empty places. It empties churches. Ah, can I tell you something? Some, if I blow the east wind, if you blow the east wind, it can destroy so many things. Isaiah 27, verse 8. Let's hear. Therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be perished. And this, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he make it, no, let me go to verse 10. That is verse 9. Let's say it, sorry. In measure, when it suited forth, thou will debate it. He says through by the wind in, in the day of the eat. In the day, he stayeth his, his wrath. His rough wind in the day of the east. In other words, he says, when it shooted forth, thou shalt debate it, thou shalt destroy it. How? By the east wind of God, by the rough wind. The Bible called the east wind the rough wind. The rough wind. Today, let me just stop there. Let me not give so many scriptures. Let's just go, let us just go straight to the word of God and put into prayer. We are going to activate the east wind. This is a dangerous weapon of war listen to me don't use this east wind anyhow don't use it anyhow some of you because you have seen a new revelation when when even your best friend misbehaves you i command the east wind against you you are releasing the east wind against your best friend you 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 not have a friend but just because the person says something bad now you are going to release don't release the east wind anyhow you release it against dangerous enemies dangerous enemies you don't release the east wind anyhow Listen to me. Don't release the east wind anyhow. Release it against dangerous enemies. Don't release, don't use it for ill purposes. You know, don't use the east wind for ill. That is why I don't teach some of these weapons. There are so many weapons of war. There are huge stones. There are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are so many weapons of war. Because some of them are too dangerous to use. And if, if, if I'm not careful, some of you will be killing your, you'll be killing your friends day by day. I mean, if you're not careful, you don't even have any friends. You know, they, they just use the east wind. Anyhow, ah, Papa, this man, she said this about me. Let the east wind kill them. Let the east wind, because it is a dangerous wind. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a dangerous wind. The east wind is a dangerous wind. Don't use it anyhow. Please. Don't use it anyhow. So make sure you use it for the right purpose. For people that are suppressing you. People that, are, that want you to die before your time. That, those are the people you activate the east wind against. You, you contact. Not just anyhow. You know, you know there are some. You know when you are watching a movie. I mean the, the, the hero will be fighting all the time. Using some pistols. When he gets to a difficult moment. Those of you that watch Money Heists. When, 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 when they, it got to the time they needed to. I mean, I mean. I mean, stop the police that was coming in. They got their machine down. Now that is serious fire. They release it. Po, 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 po. That is the, something that is the last resort. You resort to some of these things as your last resort. You, you release it upon your enemies. Now let me just take a last scripture and then we can go on. The east wind of God, the east wind of God, the east wind of God. Isaiah 18, Isaiah 18, Isaiah 18, verse 17. Let's read. I will scatter them. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I love this scripture. Isaiah 18. Look at this. Take this scripture in prayer. Isaiah chapter 18, verse 17. Listen to what the word of God is saying. I will scatter them with an east wind. Ayadaboshabaya. Did you hear what the Bible says? It says, I will scatter them with the east wind. That is scripture. That is a word. What a word. 
I, the prophet was Jeremiah, the pro, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 17. He says, I will scatter them. How? With the east wind. May God scatter your enemies with the east wind. May them that are fighting against you, may they be scattered with the east wind. Anyone tormenting your life, we scatter them by the east wind. The east wind of God. The east wind. Say, I will scatter them by the east wind before the enemy. I will scatter them. Sorry, it is Jeremiah chapter 18, not Isaiah. It is Jeremiah 18, 17, not Isaiah. It is Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 17. I will scatter them by the east wind. Anybody that want my die for, we scatter them by the east wind. Anybody fighting against your destiny, we scatter them by the east wind. Anyone that is tormenting your life, we scatter them by the east wind. Anybody that is fighting against your career, we scatter them by the east wind. He says, I will scatter them by the east wind. Madobo hodabaya. Ikadu namasu gedebe hata. Hey, we prophesy over your life. Anybody contending against your career, your marriage, your job that want you to go down, that want you to suffer shame. According to Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 7 in verse 17, may God scatter them by the east wind. We command the wind from the east to blow. We command the wind from the east to blow against their ministry, against their destinies, against their lives, against whatever it is that they are doing. I didn't write the Bible. It is what we are reading from the Bible we are using in prayer. We are quoting scripture. That is how your prayers become powerful. You don't pray empty prayers without biblical references that is empty prayers you are making noise in the ears of god but when you quote the word of god in prayer you quote scripture your prayer becomes powerful it is like shooting with the machine gun you you, you know he says uh, uh, jeremiah chapter 18 verse 17 god says i will scatter them how by the east wind any demonic gathering gathered against you may it scatter by the east wind any satanic gathering are gathered against you we scatter it by the east wind in the mind the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, we scatter every satanic gathering by the east wind of God. We scatter every satanic gathering by the east wind of God. We scatter every satanic gathering by the east wind of God. And the one fighting against your destiny under this spiritual anointing, we decree: let your plans scatter by the east wind of God. Can I tell you something? Today I speak over your life. You will not fight empty battles. You will fight battles that will give you victory. You will fight battles that will lift you forward to your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, Calista, my daughter, I speak over your life. May the east wind of God blow against those people fighting against your life. In the name of Jesus, Calista, may the east wind of God, of God blow against your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let the east wind of God begin to speak. Let the east wind of God begin to speak. Let the east wind of God begin to speak. Madoskaba, are you ready to pray? Now we are going to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Any demonic agent, any satanic agent standing in my way to my blessing any satanic agent that want to destroy my destiny any demonic agent that is fighting against my next level any satanic agent that want to kill me before my time hey i prophesy hey i pray may their agenda backfire may their agenda backfire may their agenda Agenda backfire made media agenda backfire any satanic agent from the pit of hell we release the east wind them that want you to die them that want to destroy your career them that want to destroy your destiny we command the east wind of God come on begin to pray release the east wind release the east wind of God release the east wind of God against your adversaries release the east wind of God Madus Kabahantea Robo Kapatusa Katea, hey Abanda Rabos Cabranta, somebody lift up your voice, begin to pray. We release the east wind against our adversaries, we release the east wind against our enemies. Anybody standing in your way to your blessing, we command the east wind of God to fight against them. Anyone standing in your way to your next level, let the east wind of God be released against them. Madus Kabahantaya, Rep, Pepe, 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 Pepe,
Maranta. Somebody lift up your voice in prayer. Tonight is spiritual warfare. We are countering in the spirit. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and against blood. Madoskete, Hepedia Kapanta, Madodobo Kapa, Heyani and Abahanta, Ropotodobo Kobrontos, Epedia Kapa, Rabababa, 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 Matodea, 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 Makodobos, 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 every anyone standing between you and your blessing with the intention to break you down, with the intention to, to cause you to struggle. We command the east wind of God to blow against them. We command the east wind of God, Matodia Katesa, Masuka Pantaya, Rebebe Katwante, Rentetende Bentebebe Kabrantaba, Rebebebebe Kapa. We pray, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, anyone fighting against your destiny, fighting against your next level, fighting against your career, we command the east wind of God to blow against those people. We command the east wind of God to blow against them. Madodo Bukapa, Ropodia Kapante, Linda, I pray for you. Anyone fighting against you, we release the east wind of God. We command the east wind of God. We command the east wind of God. Matua Kapa, Rade de Boskapa, Rade de Boskapa, Rade de Boskapa, in Jesus' name. You are taking the second prayer. We are going back to scripture. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 17. God said, I will scatter them by the east wind. I will scatter them by the east. You are declaring. It sometimes, eh, before something evil happens to you, there is what we call demonic meeting. Satanic meetings. They have a demonic meeting to make sure you lose your job. They have a demonic meeting to make sure you lose your marriage. You, you lose your happiness. Something that you treasure. Something that is meant to bring you joy. There, there is a satanic meeting that is held in witchcraft covens to make sure you, you suffer and go down. But today you are praying. Whenever eh, there is a gathering, the Lord, the word of the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 17 that the Lord was scattered them by the east wind. That God was scattered them by the east wind. You are declaring that may their plans scatter. May every demonic gathering, every satanic gathering are gathered against you. The other day God said, they shall surely gather, the said, they shall surely gather but not by me, say yes the Lord. When they gather and it is not of the Lord. Let it scatter. They gather against your family. They gather against your business. They gather against your marriage. They gather against your relationship. They gather against your progress. Look at your life. You have got degrees, not a degree. Degrees, but nothing to show for. Look at how beautiful you are. You don't even have a boyfriend. You look at how glorious you are. There is nothing that you can tell of. You, you, you are dark and lovely. You are nice, pretty light skin, your body shape is correct, everything is okay but still, you struggle you are struggling and to even maintain a relationship, today whoever has gathered against you today we command, let your evil gathering scatter by fire we command and enforce Jeremiah chapter 17 chapter 17 chapter 18 verse 17 that may their gathering scatter whoever shall gather against you let your gathering scatter Lift up your voice and pray. Matoro Boskapa, Rapa Padua Katente. We scatter their gathering. 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 Poyosa, 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 Poyosa. Katoro Boskabrantaba, Rapanda Barabra Santa, Mikatoro Boskabrantaba, Rododo Boskabrantaba, Ropodo Boskabrantaba. Iman toro bos cabranta ba, rebe rebe cabranta, rebe bos cabranta. We declare by the mandate of Jehovah, Masukapa, 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 atodo bos cabranta, ikapara bara bara shanta. 
Ika para brashanta, rapa panda baskan tarabaya. Ipa dua kabrashanta rabaya. We scatter every evil gathering gathered against you by the east wind. Let evil gatherings in Kaya authorities gathered against my name. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. Makodo bukapa, rapa padua kapa, ete debe kapa, rantos kabrante, pedia kapa. Elizabeth, I pray for you. Evil gathering against you. Scatters, Margaret Kemante, may the gathering against you scatter any matapo, any gathering gathered against you, even, even minor, any gathering gathered against you, my daughter minor, let it scatter any gathering gathered against your children, praise, let it scatter, Mado Kotosa, Ropa Koton, Brandos Kibrianta, Makodua, 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 Angel Mahehu, any gathering gathered against you. Let it scatter by fire. Matodo Bosata. Mika Dranta. What God has called you to become. I speak over your life. You shall become without fear. In the name of Jesus. Madu Kabante. Prentete. Prentete. Presu Kapa. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. There is nothing that will work against you. It is your time for a new season. It's your time for a new level. It's your time for a breakthrough. Kate Karyuki. Whatever shall rise against you and your sister's business, let it scatter by fire. I speak, there is a devourer case that has been sent to that business. But the Lord said, I should speak over that business. Let it revamp again. Let it come back to life again. I speak over that business. In the name of Jesus, it is coming back to life again. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name have I prayed. Listen to me. You are speaking prophetically. You are taking your third prayer point. Your third prayer point is this. As the east wind scatters the enemy, may God cause you to be restored. May that job be restored. May that business be restored. May that peace in that marriage be restored. May you receive relationship breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May Jehovah God restore your life. In Jesus' mighty name. You are praying. As the east wind scatter. This is your last but one prayer and then we go. You are speaking prophetically over your life. That in which... From your mother's house. Any witch from your father's house. Today we are addressing human beings. May the east wind blow against their agenda. May the east wind blow against whatever they are doing against you. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Madoko do boho sabaya. Rente te te de bekapa. Mazuke te de boka brantaba. Rabababa kodaba da bada brantaba dua kabranta. Mete se keten de bekapa. Mrantos kabrantata. Hepe de bekabrantapa. Apada bashwantata. Makodo bos kabranta. Any satanic wish. Demonic wish. Any wish from my father's house. From your mother's house. Any wish in, in any way. I go to minister that releases arrows against me. We command their arrows to backfire. We command their evil projections to backfire. We command their satanic voices to come. We counter their voices. We counter their arrows. Madokoto, Ropokoto, Katia Kata, Rapata, 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 Rapata. Any witch in your father's house, we command let them die by fire. We scatter their plans. We destroy their agenda. We break down their, their covens. Any witchcraft coven, we destroy it by fire. Any witchcraft coven, we destroy it by fire. Maduni bikapa, ropo doko poso. Eyayayabanda, rabababababada brasha branta branta ba, rapapapapada brasha tanta tanta, hete debe kabranta tanta, hepe debe kabranta tanta, hepe debe in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, we declare it on. Amen. God bless you. This has been your host, God's servant, Apostle David Owusu. Amen.